Hi everyone. So in an effort to continue to show you some tools that you might use while doing uh, digital marketing research, I just want to briefly introduce you to Google Forms. I just find that this is like a very simple way to get a survey done that you might want to do. Um, and it's probably the easiest. There are much fancier things that you can do out there that I talk about in some of the videos. You can use actually even Google Consumer Surveys. You can use uh, Qualtrics. You could use um, uh, SurveyMonkey, right? But the, and you can use Mechanical Turk, but this is just a quick and simple way to like do a survey. It's free, um, especially if you're just starting out or you're just launching a new business. You can use it. Heck, I've seen like multinational corporations use Google Forms to do uh, post follow up marketing surveys. So um, you come to a screen like this, right? You can see all the forms I create. I tend to create a lot of forms, apparently. Um, and then, you know, you want to just kind of create a blank one. They don't have, they, they have some templates for some. They don't really have one that is maybe great for general consumer survey. They do have the event feedback, right, which you could use kind of if you're doing something that's a follow-up to something that you did. Uh, but, you know, you can create a blank one, right? And so you come in here. It's going to give you a default color palette and everything like that. You can change that however you want. Um, you can also preview it, right, once you got it, and we'll look at that again later. Uh, there are some settings. You can collect email addresses. You can limit people to sign in, uh, which that will require them to have a Google account, so I don't necessarily request that. Um, you can allow them to edit. You can allow them to see the responses. Usually, if you're doing market research, you don't want to click any of those buttons necessarily because you just want one raw result from them. Um, you can add a progress bar. You can shuffle order option depending upon your questions. That might be necessary, and it's always nice to have a little response, right? Especially if you're doing a market survey, you can write something like, you know, thank you very much uh, for your comments. Uh, we hope to see you, let's see, I'm writing this for our marketing agency. We hope to see you again at Rand Marketing soon, right? Um, and so it's always nice to include something like that. And then you can also, you know, you can also use this spot to say if you have additional comments, um, please send us an email, right? And you would include your email address there, right? So, uh, along those lines, right? Uh, you can go ahead and you know, save that. If I go back up, just to go back in there. There's this quizzes option. You don't want to do quizzes for forms, obviously, for a survey. Uh, so just leave that one alone, unless you're doing some sort of special party kind of survey, right? Where they get points for saying that you're good, or I don't know. But anyways, you don't want to do quizzes. Um, so then you're going to go in and you're going to give it some sort of form. So you can say market research survey for Rand marketing. Make sure you don't misspell anything. Uh, this is a brief survey for um, Rand marketing uh, to determine how our Consumer customers, or you, know, you could say partners, or whatever the word you want to use in your particular company is, how our customers uh, would like to best be informed. Right. So now we can go down to the actual adding the questions. So you can do something. I often suggest you know keeping it short and simple for these kind of things, five to seven questions at most. Right. So in this case, we're kind of hypothetically we're trying to figure out how to maintain customers is be using digital marketing for like a customer retention kind of viewpoint. Um, so, you know, the idea here I had is do people like to be emailed, blah, 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 things like that, right? So we might start by saying, what is your favorite way to find out more information about how brand marketing can help you, right? Um, and I tend to start by doing a, a um, there's, there's a bunch of arguments back and forth on this. I t personally find that starting with an open-ended question and then adding another um, uh, uh, closed-ended question is a good way to go, right? So you, you can choose paragraph text. Um, on forms, you can have short answer, paragraph text, uh, multiple choice, checked boxes. Actually, short answer is probably okay for this one because I don't expect them to write a lot. Um, Check boxes, drop down. Uh, you can even have files there for them. Linear scale, multiple choice grids, 
checkbox grids, enter date and time, stuff like that, right? So you got a lot of different options there. I'm gonna go short option here. I'm gonna mark it required, right? That they have to enter it so they can't go on without it. Um, you can also add, a, you can have a description if you want, uh, and then you can have a response validation, right? So this is like the text has to be greater than a certain amount or the length has to be greater than a certain amount. So that's kind of a nice useful aspect, right? Now here I want to do the open-ended question before they see the closed-ended question because if they see the closed-ended question first they might just give me the same responses. So I can then go in and I can add a, uh, a new section right onto it so it's a section two so now they won't see this this next section uh, once until after they've completed the first question right so um, I can call this, you know, marketing channels or something like that, right, for this section. Um, and I can say here, we will ask more detailed questions about our contact channels, that seems a little nicer, uh, about how to reach out to you. So the first section, right, is just kind of, it's the open-ended, like just tell us how you want us to contact you, right? Uh, and I can actually see actually answering, adding one more question here, which is, you know, um, how often do you want to be contacted about brand marketing, right? Um, and, you know, the, it might be that that the that the that the answer is never, or that I only when I initiate. So we'll make it a short answer rather than being a certain number, right? So let's go back to the contact channel section, and then we can now we can say things like, uh, you know, and again, I want to keep this to more than more than five more questions. So um, you know, start out by saying, uh, are any uh, or say something like which of the following methods. do you use or want to use to find out about uh, RAND marketing? Okay, and you'll notice, by the way, Google Forms is really cool. It automatically detected based upon the question that I was probably gonna ask a checkbox question, and so it switched the type to checkboxes. Um, so that's really kinda cool. So I can say email, um, social media, right, um, website, uh, and we're really cool and we have text messaging capabilities, right? Um, or things like that, right? So we can, we can obviously add a different additional questions, uh, answers there, and then um, take this one out, right? Maybe we wanna just add other, and this will be an open-ended kind of answer right there, right? Uh, we'll mark that one as required too. Do we remember to remark this one's required? No, okay. And then um, now, we can just add, let's just make this really simple. We'll add one more question. Um, uh, how often, well, I, I got a couple more. How often would you like to receive a, a an email from Rand Marketing, right? And we can say, you know, uh, one per week, two per week, every day, right? Um, and you could, you, of course you can make these a little more general, like one per week, two to five times per week, every day, right? Something like that, okay? And then you could also add, so I'm adding these questions just because these are specifically related to um, push contacts, right? Like things where I'm sending things out. How often would you like to receive a text message or a phone call? From marine market and we can have this you know maybe this one is a little more invasive so we say once per month right uh two to three times per month and then every week right okay so once we've done all this we've marked all our options required by the way i did a thing that i didn't mention which i used the copy button just to copy the previous one because i knew it would be a similar format right so we've got all this now we can kind of preview it Right, and you can see that it's all there. So we can say email, um, twice a week. Right, 
email, social media, website, once per week, two to three times per month. I misspelled month, but you get the basic idea, right? And I can submit and I'll send it and there gets my little confirmation message, right? So uh, once I have that in, then there's responses and you'll get a nice response table that comes out of it. You can also download it as a, as a Google spreadsheet and get the data that way as well. And how do you, so how do you actually get this out to your, your potential customers? Well, you click this little send button. You can either type in emails directly or what I tend to do is grab this um, shortened URL, right? And then you can, you can just distribute that in whatever way you want, right? Like in an email list you already have, you could put it, you know, you could um, even create another shortener version of it that's something like Google slash my survey and uh, put that up in your um, offices or whatever um, to get feedback that way as well. Uh, put it on newsletters, whatever, right? Um, so anyways, cool little tool. Uh, you can even send it out by social media as well, by the way. Facebook, Twitter, things like that. Cool little tool, super, easy to use, very intuitive, yet still can give you some powerful, powerful results uh, for marketing research. I highly encourage you as you're working on your group project to put together something like this, some kind of instrument. The instrument I designed here may not be the best ever, right? It's just an example to kind of get you some ideas of what's going on. And you can see other ones that may be asked like, what kinds of social media do you use? Do you use Twitter? Do you use Facebook, right? Um, and those would be very useful in helping design your digital marketing plan. So get some experience with it, put together something, Get, you know, get some group of the target market to fill it out um, and then include those results in your group project. Um, yeah, so that's all I'd like to say today and uh, keep working uh, through the materials and the videos and we'll talk soon. Take care.